you know, right in the minute, in the minute, in the boy, do boring him to make you have fun. More time you feel for him and done. Stop fight with him, make him fight for you like Tyson. Like Tyson, you're too nice to win the boy of him belly. Boys, dirty people, good morning. Kamisha, hold tight, lad. Dirty Jojo, you yeah, try to see my father and I feel like you, can't, you think like you can't style my father. My father don't want you. How are you doing? How are you doing well? How are you doing well? Tell me how you're feeling the summer kick off a hat. I tell you how to do a kick up a storm. All of the people will live a foreign. Born on the AC. I tell you, people will live a Jamaica. Wash on the fan. The one them we now have now AC wash on the fan cause wicked boy yeah. White <laughs> Me look brown and cool. Then the foreign me go. Jesus Christ. Foreign me go. I'm flying, Jesus Christ. Yeah, people. You know, I'm going to come on a long time after I go away to Europe and come in. I'm going to see me. But you know, I'm going to see me. I'm going to tell you, I come on and go and look a quick talk. I remember me and a blogger. I'm tired of people think me a blogger. I don't come on regular like one time because people think I'm a blogger. I'm an I'm a entertainer. I'm a DJ. So, when you see me, I book my phone on a birthday, on a funeral, on a breakup, on a nine night, and all of them something there. If you're in a relationship and you want to break up, you can book me for come play the breakup song. Them. You understand? If you're divorced, you can book me for the divorce party. Okay? I have music for everything. Okay? Well, big up my friend Tina. I want to tell you about Tina. Castic business. Because remember, life is everything but that is a must. So if you have your loved one and you want a nice see through glass castic for them. Or gas casket or it one name or coffin or where you want to call it. Tina is in New York. I have a gear a different promotion. Gotta go with your Tina. We had to chest me out. As my command for live, you just chest me out. Yeah, if you get bun, you come book me and play. Remember me serious. I don't want people to feel like say. Show them some up on the internet, sit down in my yard, them feel like I'm a blog and I have nothing to do. I make nice for a living. Right? I'm a DJ. I want to source me in America, in the United States, of everywhere. Don't worry. So when you see me now, I never say, but a DJ for show. Yeah, I'm a DJ for show. So much things are going on in the world. But just come on for going and look at chat and love now. How are you doing? How are the day going so far? I know the summer at our time now. 11 o'clock, minister 11 o'clock, foreign. To 10 o'clock, Jamaica. Then, you don't know. I respect all of you. Know. And you don't know respect things or respect bigger than ratings. Because some people rate you, but they don't respect you. And I touch on that topic here real quick. See? I always wonder why is it when you're alive and I see everybody and hear everybody talk and people don't see you for a minute but they have your number in their phone 
them no message you, them no check by you, not even every two years now, every six months or every three months or whatever, them no check by you. Or, you know, try have a relationship with you, but them have your number. But when time you're dead, everybody has said them sorry for ear. Everybody I remember the last conversation where you and them have. Everybody I remember how oh, you was a good person. Everybody I remember you was a good father, you was a good husband, you was a good this and good that. But yet still when you're alive, them never tell you none of them something yet. Them never ever tell you none of them something yet. You know what I'm look for me you them and I tell them. If me for pass off right now, don't bother with no excitement for me. Just make me dead and go on. I'm not bothered with no big funeral. Just burn me. Because this is social media. If you follow social media, you will develop a whole heap of hate in your body for them. For people. For the world. Social media will make you develop hatred in your heart for people. You have your phone. And you put up something by your status. And when you look, you see 300 people and look by your status. And you not talk to 300 people. I said, said this the other day. I said this the other day, you know. Say, stop expect from people. Because when you expect too much, you're going to get disappointment. See? You're going to get disappointment. I stop expect from people long time. Like if you talk to a person, I say, what you expect? I say, you know what I'm not expect nothing. Because I get so much disappointment already. Them take it wrong. Use ignorance and say, you yeah, style them man. you yeah, this and yeah, that. But just check every time somebody dead. Or the biggest promotion that them get. If them start a business, so much people not put out the business. People scroll past the business like say, them not see it. See, them scroll past the business. See, you get a, you get a, you achieve a accolades and you get a surfing ticket in a nursing, you finally graduate. You can count the people them will really congratulate you. But make you put up and say your mother dead or your father dead and you lose someone close. Make you put up that. You see, condolences goes out like, whoa. See? Condolences goes out like woe to this. It just goes and goes and spread and spread and spread. And everybody does that. So who now who, who no want to message you privately? Them under the post and them say condolences. I'm sorry for here. So why your mind never run from the person when them was alive? Why your mind never run from the person before them lose somebody? Why your mind never tell us if you message the people? Them and say, boy, why, why? You know, just a heal you up and nothing. But that's a, but that's a heal you up. Zin? But just a heal you up. Like enough people never say that. Let me tell you how me look on life. You don't have to talk to a person every day. But every now and then you chip, you chip in and you give them a, a one year. It can be a text, it can be a call. Because when me dead and gone, I got no say you did sorry for here or you sorry for what happened. Why you not tell me, say, boy, everybody I go through something when me alive. Like I said, us Richie, you know, say everybody I go through something, but continue all the faith. Continue go and press on. Because you don't know life is the greatest thing. You know, say, I value life. Me know, say, death is a must, but I value life. I value people. Me get up and I say, I like people. The reason why I say, I like people is because I love people. Because, remember, we can't make nobody. We can't give life. See? So I value everything and everybody when I come across. Social media is a place I come from social media and I meet a whole heap of nice people. I tell you, I meet a whole heap of some of them. I never meet them in a life. But all the reason for social media is that things that we burn and grow. So when I hear people say they can't bother with social media, I don't say that. Because I know the type of people that I interact with. See? People quick for right RIP. Instead of congratulations. People quick for comment and say, Oh, this is so sad, it breaks my heart. More than, oh my God, this warms my heart. It makes, it put a smile on my face. People quick for write the negative more than the positive. Remember say, no, we can't change nobody, you know. We cannot change nobody. We can't stop nobody from 
feel how them feel or live how them feel. But me just looking at myself and just say, certain things, I'm not going to put myself through. When I hear me say, I can't change people, none of we can't change people. We have to change ourselves. So me the man change myself from enough things. Like all conflict, my plan for not in a conflict with nobody at all. Because ignorance is that bliss right now. Everybody bad. Everybody have them gone. Everybody can't burn you up. Everybody will go to prison. Everybody will this. So everybody bad. So who is the fool? So better me hold the fool fool side and hold the idiot side. Make me hold the shame side. Make me hold the quiet side. Make me hold the soft side. Make me hold the, the girl clown side. Make me hold the side over there so because everybody bad. So I want to the fool them. The fool left. I be a bad people left. So make me just hold over that part there. So I promise myself, say, I'm not embarrass my children them on social media. When I say I'm not embarrass them, I mean I'm not going to make a fool of myself. Because if I come make a fool of myself, I youth them not going to like it because they have to face the crosses out the road. Because when me can't deal with it, my youth them not supposed to walk past. My daughter not supposed people not supposed to see my daughter and I say, stinking dirty father. Where where this and that my youth them have to deal with that. So I change myself from certain things. So I promise myself that I'm not going to ever embarrass my youth them. It burn me for sit enough time when I look on the internet. I see some big woman and some big man. I carry on and a galang. And for God say, them have children. You know, respect your youth them enough for us. Men down certain things and men back certain fences are brown down the bridge they are. You know? Come in by now. Me I wanna friend a reason. And Sharon joke and I say, you're all, you know. You're all. And she thinks I take offense to it. But I don't take offense. I actually feel good. Because when you say you're all nowadays, take it as a compliment. People, some people might think it's a disrespect, but it's a compliment. Because if you notice the rate of how the world ago. People are dying every day and the younger generation them from 6 to 18 years old, from 12 to 25 years old. Every time you look at your ear, oh, this young man has died at 19, this young man got shot at 17, this young man died at 25, this young man died, he wasn't even 30 years old. And when you look at you, say you are 40. You have a whole lot of 40 there and all it's strong. You are 44, you are 45, you have to hold it strong and feel proud. You understand? For the woman, them will get up and them cuss over two little grey hair with them sip on them front. Take it as a compliment. And just say I age gracefully. Because I remember one time I was 20 and I was 25. 40 was all. Like when you hear say you are 40, you hear the man they are 40. And you look at it and you say, I'm a 40, a old man this. Zin. So when you go to Obama, you look at it, you have to say, wow, how far you come from? Because remember now, you know, we are the, are, are the, are the I say something on one of the internet where they must say, um, the ancestors, like them say, if you're born in a 19, if you're born in a 19, send to something, you're ancient. Zin. And if you're born in a 19, 99, your ancestor. And it's like, I find it very funny. I find it very funny, you know. Because if you ever check out some youth reason now, you is nothing to them. Some of them look a young girl, you is nothing to them. Them the response for you. Them tell you, say, you're all and your time pass. So what we supposed to do now as big grown people is remember so we live a certain life and we live a good life. Like all me, I can't tell you that so I live a good life. I pass my suffering stage a long time. I don't suffer. I live a good life. I do one heap of things already and I enjoy life. I can't tell you that so I enjoy my life. I not boy, Richard live a life where 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 No, I live a good life. I'm looking at myself and know like I do. I see my youth them pass the worst. See I see my youth them past the worst and I still there and watch them see them at the young adult stage and I do them thing. So 
when you have your big son and your big son taller than you know and your daughter bigger than you know and you see your daughter of man and you see your son of woman and you see them and do them things you have to just feel proud of yourself and just smile just sit down and smile you remember like how old people used to sit down in them rocking chair and rock then just sit down on a rock so you just sit down in your recliner if you have a recliner you just sit down and put your back against a wall and just say look for my seed look for my children then far we have come from and look which bar me reach because remember say tomorrow is promised to no one tomorrow promise to no one no one so me the man I value everything where I go on right now I value the people when I come on on the internet and I soon and I soon come on and I come in and I post them and I want to laugh or whatever if somebody pass a bad comment or I still appreciate it in the same way because I guess what now I have to take life as how it come I have to take life as how it come and enough away we sit down and worry about the wrong thing and that's why enough away wall back in our life, we are wonder oh, we stay so one place, and we are well back ourselves. Let me tell you why we are well back ourselves. We sit down and I worry about the next man. Because if me if you get up right now and sit down and I watch Lisa, and I say, Watch Lisa, she just buy a car, she hype, you see. Watch Lisa, she get her new job and a hype. So she have her new job, she a come come hype. Remember, you know, Lisa go to school, Lisa put her pen to paper. Lisa used the opportunity for and her ambition and her mindset and push herself to reach where she reached till she can afford a car. We don't know how much car payment she had take for, for, for do this. We don't know if a car loan. We don't know nothing. But we just see Lisa post up and say, Lisa, we don't like you. This is the generation where we have a deal with now. We never stop and sit down and just think and look and look at the younger generation them where we are dealing with and just say, but when we did little, we never used to know this. You remember one time, when times some little girl, go and go have sex, or them go have sex, you hear them parents say them go put pepper in them pum pum. You remember that style? When them used to say them go put pepper in them little daughter vagina, and them beat the daughter and beat her because she take long to come home from school. Or them send her a shop and she take long to come back from shop. You think you can put pepper in a little, in them pum pum again? You think you can do that again? You cannot. Because now, them nowadays generation here are runway. The nowadays generation are runway. Ten year old. Oh, she missing. When you check it out, you see her on a video down a Sentan. You see her on a video in a Kingston. You see her on a video a whole lot back. She and some other girl. I wonder if you know how serious of a time that generation you are living a ride right now. I wonder if you don't know. You don't realize, say, that generation you are, anything we talk about too much, it becomes a trend. And why it becomes a trend? Because people want to involve themselves in it and people want to try it. One time when we look, we are here about roast duck. And we are here about laps coochie. And we are here about skin bailey. And we are here about some whatever name. Remember when time me younger, me hear about cocoa soup a year. Me hear about wet and curl. Me hear about wet and wavy. Me hear about some little, you know, some little here. You now we hear about fox locks. We hear about Peruvian. We hear about Malaysian. We hear about Brazilian. We hear about all of them things. We hear about BBL now. And them something that we hear about now. So we are look on the internet and we are see it. Nice little young girl, slim. Nothing to do her. And she said, oh, I don't like myself. I need to go and do my bottom. And she get up and go do her bottom. Not no do her, you know. Nothing no do her. But she's so caught up in trending and want people to see. It's like doing your body is a big achievement. So she just says she has saved up her money for go do her body. So she go do her body now. All of a sudden, she don't know how to act. Naked. See? Naked, you know. Naked as she born. Because she don't remember how to wear clothes again. See? She naked because she do her body and remember say she never have a chick nor a child but she just want to keep up with the Joneses. So instead of starting a business she do her body. Nothing wrong if you spend your money by yourself. Or your money. Do your thing. 
Now we are dealing with the teenager, them now we're not 12 and 10 and 13 and 14. They might take Mali. May I see it from the whole of the other day. Every day they're on the news, careful of how you're taking Mali. I've never taken any prescri prescribed drugs, I've never taken any. No drugs, none at all. See? But may I watch and may I read and may I listen. And them say when you take the Mali, it make you do things where you don't remember when you wake up. From you can't do something the night before and remember what you do. And when you look back on a video and see yourself, you wonder when you do that. It can't go. But who am I to tell you, say, don't go take what you want to take? Your enhancement, enhancement jobs. Me can't tell you, say, I forgot to take you something. Me can't tell you, say, I forgot to take you something, you know. Me can't tell you, I forgot to take you something. But anything where you put out, prepare to get it back. See, anything where you put out, prepare to take it in back. Because of the energy where you put out of that, you're going to get back in. Because if you have to take some drugs for all the vibes, and you can't remember in the morning, you know, there's something seriously wrong. One time gone, we used to have say, if you have no youth, at 20, you're up on the gelding chuck. And if you reach 30, you're up on the gelding chuck. And a woman are you not because a woman can't breathe. See him? Them talk so much things. And me did fall in the chuck there as a younger you too. Because I say, I want to know. I feel like I can't reach certain age and I get no youth. But we never did a thing, so the responsibility will come when getting a youth. We never did a look on the responsibility there. Now, everyone that we get big, the first thing we I say, we wish we did little. Lot. And forget big, I was one of the biggest mistakes. Because the whole way we were on this, pray forget big. And then when we get big, we say the responsibility come up and we. Like, when we look and we see how much bills we have to pay, we have to say, wow. And guess what all we have to do? We get the youth and we want the youth them have everything. So we spoil them rotten. We buy them all the sky. Oh, mom. I want the sky. And we work hard for buy the sky. And you buy the sky, get the pit, the pit, and take it out. Oh, I'm so excited. And then play with it two times and throw down the sky. Because they don't value nothing. They don't value nothing. Nothing. Mom, I want the bottom of the sea. Dad, I want the bottom of the ocean. And I we that as the father. Poof, chuck off in the water. Bam, anything for my pitney. Get the bottom of the ocean for a pitney. Because we want to give our children what we never have. Nothing no wrong, you know. Nothing no wrong. But what we have to do, sit down with the youth them and tell them, say, you never can get this right now. Because we are grow some youth nowadays with the youth them. When, it, when them here now, them throw a tantrum. Them throw a tantrum. So when them throw the tantrum now, them are say, Oh, you have to tell me no. My mom not tell me no. We always believe in a reward in your kids when they do something. Like, you know, them go to a school. I mean, I get to the school part, you know. Because a part about the school, a very, very serious something. When the youth them do something good, we force to reward them. Like, if you want a PS, a PS5, you have to get the PS5 if you give me straight A for the next five months. So you give the youth a task. So, bam, the youth bring a task come. Because, guess what? See them, we like how you celebrate the achievement. You're supposed to talk about the failures too. Because remember, said nobody knows of the achievement straight. So we have to fail. We have to jump down before we rise again. And how much time we jump down? How much time we jump down? Remember, me not respond if them want to say a war. Me not respond if them want to say a bitch. Me not want me not busy with them want to say boy. But them not supposed to say you're a bad parent. Make them talk about you in the words just away, but make sure the part there when them say you're a good parent. The part there you sit down because enough man, them give them pitney money, but them not give them pitney time. They don't give their children any time. They don't give their children any time. And you say time is the most important thing. Material things are always dead. Oh, I'm buy me with a PS5, me would say I want an iPhone 13 plus. I'm going to buy that for my youth. I'm give me youth that. Oh, I'm going to my youth no short or nothing. Jordan, straight jays, my youth, we're going to school. Mm -hmm. 
but he never found the time to go to one of the parent teachers meeting he never found one of those time for sit down and he knew to swim or he knew to play basketball or he knew to play tennis or he knew to play the violin and he spend an hour or an hour and a half he didn't have the time there he was too busy so these are enough of the things that I look upon and say Mother's Day will always be forever bigger than Father's Day because we as fathers we are just breadwinner some of we determined to say anything we are going we are feeling we youth life no care how far we are in our world while you have some man say don't send the money go give the mum already you know me don't have to go Zin? Why you think I couldn't get a bag of youth all about? Because if I get a bag of youth all about, the way I love Missy and Puffy, I never can love them so. Because I go come see them certain time. I never can sleep with them all the while. I get all the data and my daughter live all of Paris. Oh, I go love my daughter. Oh, I go hug up my daughter. How much time of the year I go see my daughter? How oh, often I go see my son? A Africa one two time a year me have to be one of them telepathic father there where every minute me they on video call and I say let me see your homework let me see this let me see that remember you need physical affection you know the youth them need that remember say you have your youth and your youth lay down and asleep your burp your youth and you know you walk your youth in the morning to school your youth take morning breeze I want to walk and I want some little reasoning I have a drive and I want some little reason. Them thing there is very essential. Because you're going to hear, oh, he's a good dad. Because the good dad pass on money. But, see, the time not dead. Remember, I couldn't have 15 picnic because I cannot afford to send 15 children to university. I cannot. And, not for we not believe in this, but both parents need it in the, in a, in, into the child's life. Both parents are needed. The bitter baby mother and the bitter baby father of them who don't realize that the youth on our wall back. Who try to set up the youth against the mother. Who try to set up the youth against the father. Who try to say who don't have it more than this and who don't have it more than that. Who don't realize that who don't make the youth a bill of age for one of them. Who don't do that something there. And that will mash up enough of the thing. Remember saying, no. let me tell you why bitterness always go on in a, in a, in a, when parenting for go on. The bitterness go on because a man and a woman there for 15 years. He man her there. When she did there with him, he never have no good boxers. He may have be a tear out but his pants and she did have done them up. And, you know, them eat out of one pot. And, you know, them go on with some little things. So it's like, them have a history. Yes, 15 years come and the man stagnant because it's like he must struggle. She has struggled, he must struggle. Bam, them grow apart or him get an opportunity. And when he get the opportunity, him leave. Once him goes to Bam and there with a new woman, you know, it's like that woman has shown him some things where he never did know what so he could have done. Because he have him skill and him skill never did a utilize. Him skill never did a utilize. Like him could have done well then good. But the woman where him there with, all she can know say, oh, she wash him clothes and keep him clean, but she never say, you know, say if you enhance by welding something, we don't try well them two wire there together. We don't try well like a grill there together. We don't try to do that. She not try to push him, you know, stimulate, stimulate him brain certain way and push him certain way. So this next woman here come now and start pushing and shoving him and him start seeing true potential now. Right away, my big welding company. This baby mother where she had him the 15 year now, see the big welding company and say, and what I do? And me still there because she look back for herself still like, down on the road down the stuff. Because people don't believe in a building together. People will watch you build, then try to take out the way you build. And me have to have both man and woman. So the bitterness is going to come in now. He move on and he nobody want to have sex with her. She try looking back in her everywhere because all of a sudden, everything where she never like about him, the next woman you like. Every goddamn thing. She never used to want to squeeze out the blackhead the more time is. She never used to squeeze the more time fear. She never see the ear bump them. She never see nothing at all.